Hey everybody, welcome into the Pony Sports NIL interview series. We're kicking off on our channel. In this series, we're starting with Rashi Rice. Please follow us on Twitter at Pony Sports DTX and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. But without further ado, welcome in, Rashi. Thanks for being our first guest. Did you just wrap up practice? Yes, yeah, sir. I did. I think thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> no, we're we're glad to have you, man. How's the bye week going? It's going pretty good. Um, you know, it was never really an off day, but every day is a work day. Just uh, less work than usual, preparing for a game. I guess we don't have one this weekend. No. That's awesome. Awesome. Well, talk to me about what it means to be able to make money off your name, image, and likeness. Um, well, I mean, it means a lot as, as far as me, like, being able to, <clears throat> like, help my family before I could, like, get to my dreams of being an NFL player, like where you actually like make a lot more money. But just being able to make money while you're in college legally, um, it benefits me in many ways as far as not worrying about uh, just, you know, typical college things like the certain amount of money we get, our stipend is perfect for our rent and stuff like that. But that's like college is a lot more, I feel a lot more comfortable without having to worry about anything like that. Yeah, nice to be able to get that bag legally now. So yes, sir. That's good. But so I know you had several Power Five offers at a high school. What really stood out, stood out about SMU? Uh, what, what stood out about SMU was uh, the it was the the family vibe that I got from the coaches and the the like the futuristic like view that we actually saw and we started to believe in we started speaking it into existence before it even started to happen. It was like, I could kind of just see it for myself. And I believed with everything that the coaches were telling me because there's like progress and keep progressing. Oh, that's awesome, man. Well, I've, I've heard uh, Danny Gray say that SMU has the best wide receiver trio in the nation with you, <laughs> Danny and Reggie. Do you agree with that? Uh, oh yeah. No doubt. No doubt. So I, I, I'll put that on anybody. <laughs> you don't have to convince me, but if you were having to convince somebody, what would be your argument? How would you convince me? Uh, we got uh, we got three wide receivers that can run four 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 three, that can all catch, all explosive, all returners. Uh, like it's nothing nothing that we haven't seen, and nothing that we're not prepared for. Like as far as us wanting to get back for what we didn't get to get at last year. So it's more of a chip on our shoulder. And we were already we already call ourselves elite. We call ourselves the mob. We give ourselves a name because <clears throat> we like speak we speak everything into existence. No, so we say we're the best wide receivers in the country. We're just gonna keep working till we're the best wide receivers in the country. Love the attitude, man. I love it. I love it. So just a few quick hitter questions for you. What defensive back on the team gives you the most trouble to get open against, whether it's practice or a scrimmage? Um, out of the slot. So since I'm at slot, I, mean, I would say our most crafty defensive back would be Brandon Crossley. He's not – it's not typically hard to get by him, but he does this kind of defense where he'll run your route for you like if you're running a straight route he'll run mm -hmm. like right in front of you as if you, he's a wide receiver so it's kind of like he does a different kind of coverage than any other db that i played against so he just adds a little bit more craftiness to help me in my game now that's great and so you mentioned the slot and we've seen you line up there this year how do you like working out of the slot i love it i feel like <clears throat> i mean honestly last year i played at about 190 now i'm 205 so i feel like me being able to have like be more explosive and have a lot more body weight against a, a, a safety or a slow backer. I just have an advantage wherever, either body weight or speed. No, that's great. And you mentioned uh, y'all all run sub four fours out of you three and uh, Bentley. Who's the fastest? Uh, look, <laughs> <laughs> Every, you out. look, Everybody got their days. Everybody has their day. It's just, it just, it, honestly, it depends. We got, we got Danny. He's a fast, long runner. We got Do. He's a quick, fast twitch runner. He's like, it's just, we're all different kind of runners. I don't look as fast, but I'm fast. 
Danny is the the speed killer and Spook is the speed killer. So I feel like them two on the outside of me at slot, it just all works out perfectly. Yeah, it does, man. We saw those wheels in that UNT game just housing them. <laughs> yep. I've, I've been working on that a lot during the winter. No, we can tell, man. We can tell. So what is the biggest adjustment or difference going from having Shane as your quarterback last year to now having Tanner? Um, biggest adjustment, I would say, honestly, not too much of an adjustment because I'm new at my position as a slot and as well as our quarterback being like new to our school. <clears throat> it was the same for me having Shane. He was a new quarterback for me as well. So I haven't had a stationary quarterback. I've been having a different quarterback. No, no, that makes sense, man. And tell me about what young receiver or freshman receiver on the team do SMU fans need to know about that's up next? Um, Dylan Goffney. Jaylene, Rogic, and, uh, you know, I, I'm pretty sure people know about Jordan Curley. He's not as young as the other guys, but he's elite. All of the receivers I just named, they're elite. And we got some young freshmen coming in out of high school. So SMU just, we just restacking and restacking every time. <laughs> got that wide receiver you going on. Yeah, most definitely. We wide receiver you, no, no doubt. No doubt, man, no doubt. So uh, just a few more what did it mean for you to beat TCU in Fort Worth? And then the next week, SMU put up that billboard in Fort Worth with you right in the middle of it. <laughs> I mean, it meant a lot. It was it was pretty cool to uh you know to say what I said and and like have my team behind my back, like for us to finish that game, win that game at their home. And um it was also like, I mean, when I got the bill, when I seen the billboard, it was it was cool. I wasn't too much as excited because we had our – once we beat TCU, I was on to the next game. So it's, it wasn't so much me being in front of TCU for Fort Worth. It was me being on the billboard, like, for all my people that I went to high school with and my family back at in Fort Worth. No, that's that's awesome. And for the record, all of us SMU fans loved all the talk and swag. So <laughs> I'm glad y'all did. Love it, man. Love it. But So just a few quick hitters to wrap up here. Who's the biggest jokester on the team? Biggest jokester. I say I would say I would say do, but we got JD Thursby. <laughs> he funny all the time. And Brandon Crossley. So two names you didn't heard before. Yeah. And then we got a freshman. He's they're, they're funny all the time. <laughs> love it. Love it. Well, so who's who's the worst dancer on the team? Uh the worst dancer. Honestly, yeah. Mm. Probably Shane, Shane Haley, because he's too much into the uh, he's too much into the DJ and all that, so he's not trying to dance you. at all. <laughs> I got you. So last one, who would win in a race, Coach Samples or Coach McClure? Coach Samples. Coach Samples. So you're yeah. calling out Coach Coach Steph's wheels or calling him out? <laughs> I'm just gonna go for what I've seen. I haven't seen. I've seen Coach Sam race. So yeah, definitely go Sam. <laughs> love it, love it. Well, you know that's all we got here with Rashi here today. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Please tune tune in over the next few weeks as we continue our NIL series. But we're gonna sign off here so we can get Rashi paid. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate you having me.